Hello friends, we all get hurt while playing, right? And blood comes out. The blood is basically red in color because of the red blood cells present in the blood. The red blood cells are red in color. There are also some other type of cells present in the blood which are known as white blood cells. White blood cells are white in color. But red blood cells are more than white blood cells so the color of blood is red. The blood circulates in our body. But do you know how it travels? Yes, you are right. It is pumped by an organ called the heart. You might have seen this picture of the heart. But have you ever seen this picture? this picture or this picture. So in today's video, we'll look at this basic question that how does our heart function. So first of all, our heart is divided into four chambers, the right atrium or the right auricle, the right ventricle, the left ventricle and the left atrium. So let's begin. This is the human heart and this is the human body. The heart is the size of our fist, closed, and it is located just above the left lung. The veins bring deoxygenated or impure blood towards the heart, whereas the arteries take oxygenated blood away from the heart and distribute it among the body. So, first the deoxygenated or the impure blood enters into our heart through the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. The superior vena cava is the largest vein in the human body. These both veins pour the blood into the right atrium. Then the tricuspid valve which is located here, this black portion, it opens up and the blood pours into the right ventricle. See this is the tricuspid valve which opens up. After the blood goes into the right ventricle, the pulmonary valve opens up and through the pulmonary artery, the deoxygenated blood goes to the lungs for oxygenation. See, here is the right lung, here is the left lung. And the pulmonary artery is the only artery which carries deoxygenated blood, whereas all other arteries carry oxygenated blood. When the pulmonary artery carries the blood to the lungs, the lungs take away the carbon dioxide from the blood and mix oxygen with the blood. This process is known as oxygenation of blood. Now the oxygenation oxygenated blood re-enters into our heart through the pulmonary vein. The pulmonary vein is the only vein in human body which carries oxygenated blood. Then the pulmonary vein pours the blood into the left atrium. Then the mitral valve opens up. See this is the mitral valve which is not like the tricuspid valve and this is the aortic valve and this is the pulmonary valve. These three are alike whereas this is different. When the blood passes through the mitral valve, it goes into the left ventricle. Now the aortic valve opens up and through the aorta artery, which is the largest artery in the human body, the blood is sent for distribution among the organs and this artery splits up. Now we'll do a quick revision. Now first step, the blood enters into our heart through the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava and is poured into the right atrium. From there the tricuspid valve opens and it enters the right ventricle. From there the pulmonary valve opens and through the pulmonary artery it goes to the lungs for oxygenation. Here, at the lungs, it is oxygenated and sent back to the heart by the pulmonary vein. The pulmonary vein pours the blood into the left atrium. From there, the mitral valve opens and then the blood reaches the left ventricle. From there, the aortic valve opens. The blood passes through the largest artery in the human body, which is aorta. Then this artery gets divided and blood is distributed to all parts of the body. I hope you have understood everything about the herd system. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.